I'll have another one, Jerome. You sure you haven't had too many? Just give me a drink. Calm down, sir. I, I, I don't know. I think I said, I said giggity. Okay. Come on, Quagmire. This is a real girl right in front mm -hmm. of you. Just pick her up and take her home. You don't need your phone. I'm still an artist. What was that? I was just saying, I am upset about something. Oh, oh, I just got chills. I'm Sandra. I'm Glenn. You know, I just, I just feel like my penis shouldn't be alone tonight. All right. <laughs> Family Guy, Krugmer discovers a swiping up. Let's get started. All right, this says if we don't get arrested for the next six months, <laughs> the arson and mayhem charges will be dropped. Hey, sorry okay. again, you guys. Hi, are you Mort? Why, yes, I am. Who's that, girl? Hookers? No, just two horny people with phones. Wait, I don't get it. So, so you hit them on the head with your phone and knock them out? <laughs> no, you just swipe someone's picture, they come over and you plow them. Yes. Yep. And how about you, douchebag music producer Scott Storch? Quagmire, all the Scots know about it. Okay, let's get me set up on this Tinder thing. I can't wait Tinder. to start getting laid at the push of a button. Oh, no, no, give me that. Hey, you see this? You see what I'm doing? Not even looking. I'm swiping yes. Yes, that yes, yes. That is Cast not a wide how net. you working. Yeah, look yeah. at this. You already got a hit, and she sent a message. That means she likes you. Send something back. Okay. That is not how you do it. Unless you just want to hook up, then that is how you do it. And knowing a little bit of Quagmire, he probably is just looking for hookups. So, sure, I guess. <laughs> Dearest Teresa, I hope this finds you well. I so appreciated your last communication. No, stop, so... <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Just send her an eggplant and the erupting volcano. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hi, are you Courtney from Tinder? You must be Glenn. That hey, was great. Courtney. And we could still make our reservation. What? Why? We already had sex. Wait, yeah. <laughs> so I don't have to make small talk with you or spend any money? Huh? My God, you this don't. app is amazing! Thank you, <laughs> cell phone Jesus! Huh? Oh, yeah, oh. fine. <laughs> he, w he was too absorbed by his cell phone. <laughs> that was funny. Feeling crazy. There we go. Oh, since when did you use that, sir? Oh my god. Your finger! <laughs> um. Yeah, that's probably why you should not swipe yes on everyone, because then you're gonna end up Finding uglies like this? <laughs> yeah. All right, hitting the links. Joe, golf shorts may not be the right look for you. Indeed. It's gonna be a nice day. Tinder? Oh my god. I swipe no on golf. Smells kind of gamey in here. Swipe yes on Betsy. Swipe yes on Jennifer. Swipe yes on Andrea. Swipe yes on all the lady faces. Swipe here, buddy. <laughs> ah, the yellow face! It burns my Tinder. Hey, listen, Quagmire, you're our friend. All right, we hate to see you like this. I don't have any friends. Only sex people from the phone. Yeah. Hey, come on, Quagmire. <laughs> let's go for a walk, huh? Get some fresh air. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> you're gonna have a baby in your butt, man. Ugh. Can't leave. Heather, within five miles, is coming. Let's do it in the garage. It's kind of cold, right. but we can do sweaters on, pants off. Look, he left his phone. He's at a point where he's not even hooking up with uglies. He's hooking up with freaking zombies. Yeah. Peter, it's a good thing that he left his phone. You shall do something with that. All right, we gotta just throw that phone away and end this once and for all. Please. Yeah, no kidding. Quagmire's in bad shape. He looks worse than I did after that day at the beach. What happened to you? <laughs> swipe. Swipe. From his microwave. Swipe. Come on, I'm not getting any matches. All right, Quagmire, we gotta talk. 
This whole thing's out of control, Quagmire. You gotta get off Tinder. There was a time when you'd be more selective. When you were horny, a lot of sad, lonely gals who want babies. 300 pounders infested with scabies. Gonorrhea, HPV, you will catch a dose of blisters. And tragic sex for them has lost its magic bang in every Tom and Dick and Jack and Jill and Joan. You're not even close. A filthy degenerate seeking a thrill. <laughs> Your spirits and genitals. Yep. You guys can just forget it. I'm not quitting Tinder. Guys, I've been to the doctors. What about the doctors? Please explain a little bit more. <laughs> I'll have another one, Jerome. You sure you haven't had too many? Just give me a drink. Calm down, sir. I, I I don't know. I think I said I said giggity. Okay. Come on, Quagmire. This is a real girl right in front mm -hmm. of you. Just pick her up and take her home. You don't need your phone. I'm still an artist. What was that? I was just saying, I am upset about something. Oh, oh, I just got chills. I'm Sandra. I'm Glenn. You know, I, I just, I just feel like my penis shouldn't be alone tonight. All right. <laughs> There you go, the old Quagmire is back. For how long, we don't know. <laughs> and that prostitute you guys hired to seduce your friend? Oh boy, well, deal's off, he's do. dead. Uh, oh. Hey, do you think <laughs> Why are you I playing soccer with, with her? No, you're all-time goalie. <laughs> and now, the History Channel presents American Inventor, the true story of Henry Ford. Hey guys. Oh, hey Quagmire, how hey, was Quagmire. marching band practice? Peter, you know this is a pilot's uniform. Yeah. It represents years of specialized training. Yeah, well, you know what else takes years of specialized training? Crossing your eyes. Where are you coming from, Quagmire? I had to fly to Aruba, so I brought my mom along with my friends and family discount. Did you? Yes, Joe, I got you a magnet. Oh. What? <laughs> How come you never done that for us? If I'm being honest, I've also got a few Celeste pizzas in that fridge. Well, I'm off to San Francisco <laughs> with the guys. Okay, I'm off to Hilton Head with the girls. You what? Peter, uh, I told you about this a month ago. All right, I'll go tell the guys I'm not going. Why is he taking his suitcase to tell the guys? You guys, questions, on, we gotta go now. There you go. That's why. <laughs> What's the matter with stealing Lois's cab? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Lois, you cannot be mad. It is for a good cause. Quagmire needs to see real life again after this uh, Tinder incident. They're having fun. Wow, the okay, guys, this is the original Levi Jeans Factory, cool. created by Levi Strauss in the year 1853 so that gold miners could wear a comfortable yet durable nice. fabric. All right, if you promise. I was thinking we could tuck our shirts into our pants, put on huge helmets, and ride segways. <gasps> We're not from so here. fun. You guys, look, it's Golden State Warriors star Steph Curry. Uh, hi, this sir. is exciting for the whole Bay Area to be just four games away from the championship. Dad, I duked. The other team's not just going to go away, though. We've got to stay focused, keep doing what we've been doing. Yay, I'm learning bad lessons. <laughs> Peter is so childish. He's freaking hilarious. <laughs> hey, you know, we're here early. You guys want a little tour of the plane? Yeah, Ooh, that'd be great. That would be nice. Normally, I'd just go to Hudson News and pretend to be the most important guy there. <laughs> wow, this place is cool. Yeah, what do all these buttons do? Like, what's this red one? We've reached our <laughs> cruising altitude of 37,000 feet. Y'all get ready to watch Big Mama's house. <laughs> our in-flight entertainment today will be Under the Tuscan Sun. Oh, I like that. I hear it's good. Of course I do. I just take a short break sometimes. Short break? It looks like you had time to put together the 10,000-piece Lego Hogwarts. Wow. You don't have to touch it, Joe. You can just say you noticed it. Yeah, costumes. God, <laughs> levitating! That's just a box full of costumes. It's my back in time box. I was a navy pilot, you jerks. Get the hell out of my cockpit. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what's in the in-flight magazine. What's Muscular up? old guy, already filled in crossword puzzle. Oh. 
This plane now belongs to us. You move, you're dead. So nobody try to get smart. Control Tower, this is flight 364. We have a hijacking in progress. Our flight has been... Nope, oh, rip. <laughs> That's for the kid. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? This is flight 364. We're being hijacked. I can hear you. Oh! This is your last chance. <laughs> Open the door or your co-pilot gets it. <laughs> ah, Poor co-pilot. Oh, my God! Why are you doing this? America needs to be punished for supporting the other side of my country's civil war. Bruh. Open the door, or I'll start executing passengers. I know. Now I wish I just stayed home and finished my remake of Inside Out. I'm joy. Chris. I'm sadness. Meg. I'm anger. I'm disgust. <laughs> Those fit their personalities quite well. <laughs> well, um... After this Tinder incident, he went back to normal, and now life is back to normal. He's getting hijacked in a plane. That's amazing. That's that's now the real life. <laughs> there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching me reacting to Quagmire Discovers a Swipe app. If you didn't, make sure you click that like button and subscribe for my content. Until next time, see ya!